this is based on what the industry has seen and what people normally talk about. With the setup of CD2, Sitawale was completely dominating in the music scene. And with him, he doesn't look up to anyone. He doesn't want to hear from anyone. And he doesn't understand what anyone says. With him, he's here to stay. And it doesn't matter what you think or any industry player thinks. He's on that thing called Pinnacle and nobody will ever come close. So with the back and forth between him and most of these industry players, these industry players start against him. They find a way of taking him down and that was to build Stoneboy. But wait, Stoneboy here is someone who is trying to build his career. He's not in for any type of competition as these industry players want him to be. He's just a guy who want to be on top of his game. He's just a guy who is now coming up and want to be as big as anyone in the industry. But with what the industry players have on their mind, they feel Stoneboy is a hero. Stoneboy is the one that can take off Shatawale. So their main aim was to build a monster that can take off this beast from the industry. So they stood up and built a monster who is a hero by himself. But in this case, it's not because they want to build Stoneboy, but it's because Stoneboy himself is more talented and can do this on his own. So with him, he doesn't know what these industry players have in mind. He doesn't know if these industry players really wanted him to compete with Zeta Wali. So they built him as they want, but he wasn't aware of who they were building him against because this is a, a man who just wants to do this for his family. This is a man who just wants to do this for his fan base. This is a man who wants to do this for Ashama and not to compete with any other person in the industry. So they did everything they think is right or they think this is a way to build a monster. And with him, luckily for him, he's good as himself because this is how he wants to be like. So after a several months for building up Stoneboy, they started comparing him with Shatakwali. They started making posts on why Stoneboy is better than Shatawali. And as fast as Shatawali gets angry, he was already back with Stoneboy. Because he believed Stoneboy knew what this guy knows. He believed Stoneboy knows these guys want to compete with him. Just because Stoneboy is coming from a camp that he is against. And that's the Samini camp. Within this time, he and Samini have already gone that back to back on the ground. So Stoneboy coming from this Samini background, there is definitely that Stoneboy is already coming for him. And as much as this thing gets in dread, Stoneboy started seeing Shatawali as enemy because of how Shatawali started portraying himself, because of how Shatawali started seeing him, because of Shatawali, how Shatawali was talking about him or what Shatawali was saying about him. So the setup of the industry players started working. These two guys are already enemy and there's nothing nobody can do about because it's already a religion in their respective genes and that's that so. This went on back to back to back for several years without them they dropping a dick song directly for themselves. They have normal songs that they throw shapes upon themselves. They have a way that they throw shapes upon themselves. But a dick song was impossible then. So on the several battles that these both face on who is better throughout the year, back and forth, and anyway they meet. Finally, Stavali went all out and do a day song. That was no mercy for, for the cripple. But the real fact is that this, this song wasn't as good as most expected. 
So wait, Stoneboy didn't even waste his time going to the studio to do a reply. Because with the judgment that was coming so far on, Stoneboy didn't need to do a reply because Stone, uh, Star Wallace no mercy for the cripple was totally condemned by most of the people and even some of his fans never liked the song. Just under one condition because Star Wallace was trying to mock Stoneboy with his puzzle thing but it never worked out. Although this song never went out but these people never get in touch and they hated all the hate between them keep becoming hot and hot. That's when in 2019 on a VGMA 20th anniversary the unexpected happened when Stoneboy pulled off a gun on Shatawali when he was receiving an award and Shatawali interrupt. With this it's going to be a forever history between them. It's going to be the main key between the history of these two artists. Major industry players have tried to rule this out. Even after Stonewall pulled out a gun on Stonewall, they tried to host a peace between these two guys. But after everything, we thought a collaboration is going to be possible. But from then till now, these guys are just doing a lot of things with their fans. A collaboration seems impossible. But who knows that one day it's going to happen. And with both artists, although they still have that kind of hit between them, they still have their way of winning. They are still trying to win the music industry on their own. Peace is impossible. A collaboration seems impossible. But these two artists are really going to make it one day. They will pull up everything when maybe two artists are trying to be like them and that's when i think collaboration will be possible because they have to stand a way of doing things together and if a collaboration is not really possible or possible then maybe these two artists will host a show together these two artists will perform together and before I I forgot or before I skip this line they have already performed together but in this situation they are going to host a show together just like Shatawali and Medical have that DTV blood concert or something I believe one day Stoneboy and Shatawali will host a show together they will headline a show together and that I'm sure will finalize or will scrap or they are beef out so kindly follow me on all social media on youtube now subscribe to the channel and like the video follow me on audio mark same on facebook if you are watching me there on spotify um, also on youtube uh, on tiktok if you are watching there and what do you think about this tomboy hero making and the industry players how do you think this whole started if i'm like that can you drop it in the comment section and also tell me your perspective between these two. See you.